always loved collecting rocks and crawling around in caves and hiking in the woods, and I have a job that lets me do that. Do something you really love, but really love doing something. When I was a kid, I, I was interested in science from very early on, and I can remember trying to crossbreed pansies to get a new pansy collar, and I don't think it came out very well, but um, I, I was interested in plants more than rocks, but then I got into rocks. The best thing about being a researcher is you get to do so many interesting things. I get to learn what nobody else in the world knows, and I get to share it with people who are interested and people who pay for the option to share it by being students and paying tuition to go to Penn State. And so I get to do things that matter and I get to go fun places and it really is exciting, it really is interesting. Researcher, you gotta start with curiosity. You have to be interested in the answer. If you really, oh man, I just don't care about anything, you're not going to make it as a researcher. But then you have to be willing to learn a lot of things and to follow the path wherever it takes you. And it may be many steps. You don't get the answer today. It may be a year or decades until you find out what's going on. But the starting point is curiosity. You want to know how it works. If we know what's coming, we can make wise decisions about it. If we know that making energy this way is going to make it really hard for people to live and making energy that way is going to make lots of cheap energy and people live well, we can decide. And so ultimately we're finding out how the world works in ways that will allow us to do smart things to get wealthy and healthy and happy and wise. I have learned so much from my teachers and from all the way back, I mean, kindergarten teachers, you know, Mrs. Kirsting and, and so on. I had tremendous high school teachers, Nick Hainan especially in chemistry, Dave Hall in math, but a whole bunch of others. Uh, I was advised by just world-class people studying ice, Ian Willens and Charlie Bentley. And so all the way through I've had these bright people who put their lives into teaching me and many other folks. And I think it's really there that you get the starting point. Then, if you're a researcher, if you're a scientist, you live in a community of people who want to go to work. And they're excited by what they do. And so you've got all these wonderful colleagues, Sridhar Krishnan, and many, many other people that I can work with who just love what they're doing. And when you come in in the morning, they'll have discovered something about the world that you didn't know. And you're going to say, what's new? And they'll tell you. And it's something that no one else in the world knows yet. It's just fascinating. Rescue one thing from my burning officer lab, it would be me. I'd get the heck out of there. <laughs> um, and I'd probably take my computer with me because now we do so much in communication. We have so many papers and other things that we're working on, the data on the computer, that you take the computer along. But in a pinch, there's a backup somewhere. Just get the heck out because tomorrow's another day. I love folk music. A little bluegrass, a little towards country, a lot of folk. So um, when I've got the music turned on, I'm trying to learn the next folk song.